One Piece is a series that has been very near and dear to my heart for many years. I first discovered it in the third grade, and I am now 20 years old, and I still look forward to reading it each and every week. But One Piece is getting a live, <laughs> a live rendition from Netflix themselves. Uh, sounds like a disaster. It might be. I don't know. There will be no spoilers in this video besides names, by the way, uh, in case this is going to be your first opportunity of seeing One Piece. I wouldn't recommend it, um, but you know what? Uh, I watched the four kids version as a kid, and if I could get through that garbage, there's no way this is going to be worse than that. I could, I could pretty much guarantee that. It is very divisive right now, as you can see from uh, two very mixed reactions right next to each other in my sub box just this morning. Uh, so Netflix shy making One Piece. No, with the oh no cringe face uh, from Mr. Asmongold TV himself, followed by right beside that Grandline review uh, with his reaction. Oh my god! Live action One Piece looks insanely good! I am mixed, but I am very excited to talk about it. I, I think I have a pre level head. Cowboy Bebop's live action. I've never seen the Cowboy Bebop anime, but the trailer for the live action looked really good. And then it came out, and uh, it wasn't. <laughs> and this trailer, I think, at least to me, is pretty mixed. So that does not bode well, I will say. And I mean, Cowboy Bebop, which I was comparing it to, was also made by Netflix. Of course, it's completely different teams. It's still, it's a bit of a red flag to me. Uh, let's take a peek here. Well, babe, power. All right, good. Everything this world has to offer. Roger looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty damn good. That guy looks like he's from modern day. Did you see that? Come on. <laughs> this guy just looks like he just actually so is this girl. What this all looks mo what polka dot wait, this is very this looks like a modern day. What the hell? Alright, I'm liking the crew. I do think Sanji looks a little off to me. I don't know. Some people said he looks kind of old. He does. He he there's been a lot of videos of him like training and stuff, and like he's a kicker. He fights with his legs. And I think he's like he's very serious about it. Like he's like doing some crazy shit, man. It's actually pretty cool to see like his uh, uploads. Uh, I think the rest of the crew looks pretty good. Luffy, Luffy looks the part for sure. Zoro looks pretty badass. I will say that I think they did a pretty good job on making the characters feel pretty real to who right, they gotcha. are. Nami looks great. I thought she looked uh, not great. There was a teaser trailer that came out earlier, and she looked like this, and you could kind of see like, why does she have a wig? Like she. she can't just dye her hair like you could like look you, wow what a perfect hairline um surely that's not a uh surely it's not a wig or anything um <laughs> right she looked a little rough sometimes but here i mean um, well she's wearing the bandana but she looks pretty good in the whole trailer i thought so um it's yours to find. garp looks fucking cool garp looks actually he looks like he actually fits pretty well garp in the anime is He's a very friendly, happy guy, but he's someone you wouldn't want to piss off. This guy, you can tell, has some serious old man strength. You want, he looks like he would tell you a, tell you a story about his his glory days, but you wouldn't want to call his his wife fat or anything. You know, I don't know why you would do that, but I just feel like he. This is the kind of guy you would not want to piss off at a bar. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no, I feel like you should know who this is, but I have no idea who this is. What, she has like a star on her uniform. Is she a Marine? I don't think so. I have no idea. This just might be a random, but that doesn't feel right. <laughs> I don't know why they gave him an evil laugh for. <laughs> right, like that's an evil laugh, right? Can we agree that's an evil laugh? This sounds like he's like, he has some kind of evil, he even has like the 1940s mustache he should be twirling right now. Why does he sound evil? I like how powerly he looks though. Look at his teeth, man. It, it, like, it just looks like... <laughs> Are you with me? Yeah, Bird looks pretty good. The CGI, like that looks pretty damn good. I... And that's the first of many MCU. It just feels like MCU dialogue. Character does something they don't want you to do. Quick one-liner. In a sarcastic voice, uh, it's. Uh, 
I don't know, man. <laughs> but the thing is, when I look at stuff like that, um, it feels cringe, but then I try to imagine that exact scene in the anime. I don't think Luffy would talk to a seagull like that, but I could totally... I can picture the animation in my mind of him turning around going, Mutiny, or something like that. Uh, maybe not quite that, but close enough where it's like, I can kind of buy it, but it still feels a little... It feels a little cringe. It feels a little MCU humor, you know what I'm saying? I need your back. This shit looks really cool. This shit, like, feels very Pirates of the Caribbean to me. Like, look at that! They fly across the railings and they're, they're shit battling. It's a shame One Piece doesn't have, like, any of this at all, really. So enjoy it while it, while it lasts. It's stuff like that, though, they could easily add. If they just did more of this, which they definitely could, a lot more of this, it would make the show much better. Lean it, like, Pirates of the Caribbean was a huge success for a reason. It is one of the coolest pirate movies ever, in my opinion. Um, I hope they took lessons from that, because they should've. And, like, that, the way that looked, maybe they did. We are the Straw Hat Crew. <laughs> we are the Straw Hat's Crew. I guess that's just his accent. I can get used to it, but it's it almost sounds like it's like they just didn't let him do another line or something, you know? It's like they don't have time to refill it. Like, it's a weird mispronunciation. Me, Because, like, some of the lines he does, he has an accent, which is completely fine. But some of it, it just feels a little sloppy. Like, like, like here. What is it? Or Jolly Roger. We are the Straw Hat Crew. Like, we are the, Sky, the Straw Hat Crew. Like, uh, those are two different cuts. But this is for the trailer. Maybe that's just some weird edit for the trailer. I don't know. But even still, you would think you'd want the trailer to look as good as possible. So why is that in two cuts for? Am I nitpicking too much? I don't know. <laughs> I'm a bit mixed and married as well. I like the scuff marks on it. That's good. One thing I do... I have seen people say is they look too clean almost. Anime, everyone looks so clean in anime. There's no reason for people to have perfect clothes in, in the live action. You know, they could be scuffed. It, it's preferable. You're you're adapting a different style. They should be a bit dirty, you know? But look how, like, perfect, like, the deck looks and all that. A treacherous stretch of ocean with bigger islands, bigger pirates. This was, this was one of the first things I saw. I was like, uh-oh. Now... If you kind of look closely, I don't, I mean, I notice this instantly. I don't know how noticeable this is to other people. I, I'm always under the impression that different eyes see different things, right? This looks like fucking plastic, right? This looks like shit. Like, look at here. What is this? What is all this scuffed? Like, did you, I'm sorry, did you, it was, did you get this out of run in at a Dollarama? Did you get this from the dollar store? Why is this plastic? It looks so shit. Just make a real cast of solid gold for his hilt, man. Hello? I don't know, man. Like, there's also little specks of, like, shit on the hilt as well. So it almost looks like it's supposed to be perfectly uh, smooth, but then they fucked up on the production of the plastic. Like, it should either have a texture or not. So what what is going on with some of these parts? And, like, this this is the worst offense, though. Like, what is this shit? And maybe you have to, like, pull your magnifying glasses here. But it's just, like, it's... It's just... <sighs> stuff like that. Lack of polish... I think it really reflects poorly on your work. You know? Like, they didn't take the extra step, therefore, it's a red flag to me. That That's a cool shot. I enjoy that a lot. I don't really remember how this looked in the anime at all, but that, that's pretty fucking cool. I, that's good shit. This, this is a good shot. That's when we're gonna find the One Piece. <laughs> the One Piece. I've heard a lot of people comment on, I think it was One Piece. So I guess that's just his accent. But like, also, like, he doesn't really sound like he has an accent in that line. The One Piece. Bigger pirates. That's where we're gonna find the One Piece. <laughs> he definitely says that with a W. Like, he, he does, he has an accent sometimes and sometimes he doesn't. So it's like, in this, it doesn't even sound like he has the accent. So why not just retake the line? <laughs> He's in a well. Intra okay, I can, I think I kind of know where that could take place. I don't think that happens in the story, though. We've been making enemies everywhere we go. Buggy! I think looks pretty damn good. Uh, in the teaser, he looked like this. Um... I think he looked- I think it was great. I love this got memed when this- this teaser came out. I think it looks fucking fantastic though, personally. I think it looks great here. 
the CGI. What do I think of the CGI? First of all, the fact it has all been at night in the trailer. I mean, I guess it's fine if all the battles take place at night. One Piece has this weird thing of everything always happens in the daytime for some reason. So if this, if a lot of the battling takes place at night instead, that's fine. That's, why not? Why not? Why not? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't change much. Um, I mean, the fact that it's in the dark though, CGI just looks better in the dark because there's less blending into the real environments, um, right? Um, this looks fine. I don't hate it. <laughs> it's a little distract. It's like you can see it, but I don't think this is that distracting. Jump, jump. This fucking shit, however. Jenner! Why? 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 Okay, so uh, we're gonna go to the teaser trailer for a second. This scene right here. Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this real quick. He says he he names his move. It sounds pretty cringe. All great fighters call out their finishing moves. No, they don't. So, what you just saw right there was the creators calling out the fact that they acknowledge calling out the names of the moves are cringe. And I thought that meant that they're not going to do that anymore. I thought the whole point of them adding that scene was to tell us. Hey guys, we know it's cringe. We're not gonna add it to the show. Here's the one color for it. And then there's another in the trailer. Jump, jump. Get her! Why? Why? So <clears throat> the creators of this show have been going around on popular One Piece content creators, platforms, or podcasts, their videos, and they've been talking to them. Like the producers of the show have been like talking about how we know things don't translate from anime to real life. Therefore, we're not going to do those things or we're gonna figure out a way to not make it so jarring. I think they, do, I'm sorry, were these producers, do they not see this scene? Do they not see all the other times they're probably calling out their moves? I think shit like calling out moves in anime, I think it's even kind of distracting in manga in anime itself. In live action? No, dude. No, you gotta cut this shit out. I'm sorry. It's too- it just- it's- it's too- it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. This is the kind of stuff- this is- a, this is an adaptation of the story. Does the story really need to tell- imagine retelling your- imagine telling your friend your friend asks you, what is the story of One Piece? I've never done it. I'm never going to read it. It's too long. Whatever. Just tell me the story. Is it important to tell your friend that all the characters call out their moves? No. <laughs> no, it is not. There's maybe very specific examples, like when uh, Luffy gains new abilities, we'll say, that maybe it's important to distinguish what's going on there in some kind of fashion. But... Very rarely do they have, like, did he really need to say chop chop cannon? No. This is the kind of shit you chop when you do anime to live action. So this is a huge red flag to me. The fact that they're calling out names like this for moves, I don't know. I don't like it. Like, also, yeah, when he's like just <laughs> kind of floating there midair. Like, look at the way he like leans forward. Like, I, it just... <laughs> That CGI does look bad. It, that's fine. Whatever. It's a second. It's not a big deal. But I just wanted to say it, point it out because it does look a little funny. Ah! And the way he like stays so still after he bends over. <laughs> Usopp is really good. See, this is an example. Usopp is a perfect example. Usopp looks perfectly like his character, almost perfectly, uh, in this than he does it uh, as he does in the anime, and of course in the show. He looks like this. Look, look at that. It's pretty fucking spot on, man. Uh, now, of course, there's one very fine detail missing of Usopp. One of his things is he's a big liar. And of course, uh, Oda decided to give him a long nose. Um, no idea why he would do that. But thank God they didn't give him the long nose. It would have looked fucking trash. Usopp kind of looks the most like his character. And they, they, they're, like, they're missing the defining trait of his nose. So the fact they were able to do that is actually pretty incredible. Saji is another example of a character they changed a little bit. Saji in the show has a curly eyebrow. Shit like that would have looked pretty ridiculous, right? 
User Skyonic OG on Reddit um, did a little edit. I don't think it looks weird at all. He edited in a little curl in the eyebrow. This is the perfect example of how you integrate something like this into a live action. Make it subtle. It's there. The eyebrow is like a pretty defining feature of Sanji. And I'm kind of disappointed it's not there because I think this looks pretty damn good. It's believable. It just... Anime is an exaggeration, right? So you just got to dumb down the exaggeration a little bit. And I think that could go a long way, especially for a character like this. I really... This is another... I really enjoyed this scene. Oh, right. Oh, this guy. I didn't even mean to skip to this guy. I didn't know we had already skipped that part. Can we get a better image of him? What's the best image of him? <laughs> so this is Karubi. It's fine! But I don't know, man. They just kind of look like they dipped them in some <laughs> gray paint, you know? I don't know. It's not terrible. But it just looks off. It looks like a cosplay. This just looks like a man. <laughs> this is just a man. I like this scene quite a bit. I'm running on the walls. This. I like this scene a lot. I like the sound as I listen to how his kick connects with this guy's face. That sounds good. That's a nice bone to bone. Boosh. One more time. Boom. What I don't like. <laughs> If I may be so bold, is the very uh, okay. I don't know how many of you watch like film critics on YouTube, right? Where they'll always be like, I took film in university, and every time, or college, and every time I see a movie now, I can't help but just see behind the scenes. I see where the green screens are, I see where the prosthetics are, I see this, I see that. I didn't take film. Well, I took it for like a couple weeks, and then I dropped on a different story, anyways. The fact that I could pretty much see the zip line here. Like look like look how perfectly straight side just zip and he doesn't even kick, he just kinda puts his leg out. <laughs> like he doesn't even kick, his leg's just already out. He just moves his leg down. Like it just goes so straight. On one hand, I was the same with the guy coming out of the water. He's just like starfishing it up, you know? <laughs> It, it, it's cool otherwise, I just don't like how obvious I can see that these are obviously like zip lines. And I meant, and I complained about this, it's because you don't notice that stuff in movies. You don't notice that stuff in like good TV shows and good like, like well-designed video, uh, well-designed TV shows and movies. You just don't see stuff like that. And the fact that it's so plainly visible here with two different actors in the same shots for red flag this isn't a student project this should look good this is this is a very expensive uh tv show this show has a budget of 18 million dollars per episode making it one of the most expensive shows ever made this show has more budget than game of thrones which is i think a big deal by a lot so they have a lot of money like look at the orcs i think karubi over there is very comparable to the why are these all censored <laughs> <laughs> Are these all orcs? <laughs> oh god, what is that? I'm just kidding, it's an orc. Uh, but like, do you see what I mean? This orc, I think, is very co very comparable to Karubi. So why can't Karubi look better, huh? I mean, an orc, he has a bunch of tumors and shit on his face, I get it. Right? Like, I, I, <laughs> an orc is different. From uh, a crap. fishman. I saved your ass. But I still think, comparatively speaking, this guy's makeup is shit, is what I'm really trying to say here. You'll have to excuse them. They're idiots. Uh, uh. The, uh, uh. <laughs> See, even that, in some ways, I do find that a little cringe, but then I could totally picture Usopp like, doing a little dance and making that. No, uh, that sound in the animation. Picture this exact scene, except it's the anime, right? Like, can you picture Usopp standing there doing a little dance, going ah ah? I can. So therefore, I think that's okay. Usopp is a little cringe. The Mary. People are scared of this thing. Can we get a better shot of the Mary? Here we go. 
I'm just a little confused as to why the figurehead doesn't have any color on it. Would it have really been that hard to color the horns and giving him some pupils? I think at the very least, he needs some pupils. He looks soulless without them. Give my boy Mary some pupils, damn it. And maybe color horns, but that's less important. Just give him some pupils. Why did they not do that? That's so strange. Like, this this ship right here, the Barati, has, has the gold thing on the little mouth here. They have the window. That's like... You couldn't. You really couldn't give them little pupils. Maybe they tried that and it looked bad. I don't know. But to, to me, it's a very. It just looks soulless. It looks very soulless. Which I mean, it is a boat. It is soulless. This cool. I had a bug in my eye. <laughs> I love though. Just look at Usopp. He's just hanging out, man. He's just hanging out, having a great time. Like that's very Usopp. That like, yeah. This guy. This guy is having a bit of fun. <laughs> What the fuck is this? What is... Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I just touched my glasses and blurred the hell out of them. <laughs> <clears throat> what the hell is this shit? Okay, we'll get more into it when to get a clearer shot of him. This looks like blast! Okay, that's not the reason why I'm complaining. Although that does look very plasticky now that I actually pause it on that shot for the first time ever. Jesus Christ, man. What the fuck, Arlong? Oh, it's Karubi in the bag. Look at that. Oh, he still looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> Another shot where you can very clearly see, like, the string pulling him. <laughs> or CGI. He, like, kind of floats off. I guess that's probably CGI, isn't it? <laughs> he just kind of floats away. <laughs> Do you the kindness of killing you? I don't like his voice either. I don't like his voice at all. He's took. He's... He's talking like this, he has his teeth clenched together, and he's really angry! You all together. <sighs> uh, what went wrong? And it's absolutely insane to me. I have seen a lot of, um, just going on the trending tab of, uh, One Piece here. I have faith in live action anime now! And maybe there's just a clickbait thing. Maybe he actually hates the Arlong as well. But, uh, there's another one where it's like, wow, it looks amazing! And the thumbnail has Arlong in it. To me, that means at least there's a decent sized amount of people that think this piece of shit looks good. I disagree. I hate this. I think this looks like fucking garbage. There, I said it. I think this looks like shit. It looks like they stuck fucking toothpicks in his fucking nose. He, you know what he looks like to me? He looks like he just went down to the, to the local Halloween spirits and he bought one Arlong costume. That's what this looks like to me. And then they like glued on the nose. They they gave you some little, maybe a little, little tub of like purple paste to put on you. They gave you a little hat. It, <laughs> It just looks like a spirit Halloween costume to me. What happened? And there's no, why can you see his nose under? Okay, for context, this is what Arlong looks like in the show. I think it was pretty fucking badass. And I understand. Making a scary purple guy, um, intimidating scary purple guy is, is no easy feat. But I'm just saying, I think this looks like shit. I don't like his voice. I don't like how he looks. He kind of reminds me, to be honest, of, uh, from Power Rangers. He reminds me of this guy a little bit. I would honestly say this looks better than this. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep, nope. Th I think this looks a lot better. And this is from 1995. So, like, like, did we forget how to do props? I, <sighs> why does he have a normal nose? Did they, like, well... Sorry, man, we don't know what to do about your nose, so I guess you're just gonna have a normal nose underneath your saw nose. Like, what? What? You're my captain from now until the end. Uh huh. <laughs> so, this scene here is taken from the most one of the most pivotal scenes in uh, what will be season one. I'm gonna keep and this. stuff like that. I, I feel like they could pull up pretty well. I think that, 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 I mean, yeah, that's, that's a conversation. I, I think if there's one thing people will say that's very good about this season, it's probably going to be from this season. If this does suck. I'm going to kick your ass. Also, why is Arlong as tall as Luffy? 
Like, you don't gotta make him, like, 20 feet tall, but come on, Netflix. You gotta at least make him, like, a good, like, 7 feet tall. He has to at least tower over Luffy. He's not intimidating when he just looks as tall as Luffy. What are you doing, Netflix? Because no one messes with my friends. <laughs> Nobody messes with my friends. Yeah, I guess that is very well. Like, it's just something about seeing that. It's just kind of crazy. Friendship is magic. I know. It, it, it's a it's a trope that is used in One Piece quite a bit. I feel like it's not used as much anymore. And, and if it is, it's not as blatant as, I'm fighting for my friends. Um, And I, I believe Luffy said some, something similar in the original source material. So, I mean, maybe, maybe it's a product of the time. But maybe, you know, maybe you can change how he says that a little bit as well. Because no one messes with my friends. And just ah, it just it's a little cringe i think <laughs> shanks very important character to the series um he's very he's a very cool character he very he has like a lot of young guy energy this guy does not speak that to me at all he looks old and tired um which is not ideal for a shanks however Maybe it's a bit fair to make such a judgment on a very short scene of him. Uh, but he looks very old and tired. Maybe, I guess, like, when I say old, I don't mean, like, fucking old, old. But I mean, like, middle-aged, kind of, you know. Starting to tell kids to get off his lawn and talk about how things used to be so much better when he was a young one kind of age. You know what I'm saying, Mr. Grant? He does not look like he's, like, the cool guy full of just, like, crazy energy. Um that he does in the source material here is all i'm saying mihawk however god damn god that's a handsome ass man right there yeah i think they nailed nailed mihawk pretty damn well to be honest i have been seeing a lot of people bitch about this guy that the cgi monster i think he looks fine i think he looks fine like what you <laughs> You could tell it's CGI, right? But that's fine. I don't know. It's a little distracting, I guess. But this, to me, it's like... It's a sea eel monster thingy. It's fine. The CGI punching. This looks pretty good. I think this looks really damn good. What's so special about you? Why does he talk like that? What's so special about you? My first thought was you remind me of like a stage play kind of like caution. But that's, that's an insult to them. Like, nah... He looks worse. This is just a dude. This is just a dude they slapped a the nose on him. He, wait, what? How is he doing this? Wait, what the hell am I looking at here? Can, like, don't his fingers look weird? Shouldn't, shouldn't be, I, just, I, I just don't know what I'm looking at. I'm not even complaining. I just have no idea what I'm looking at here. This is like when you when you do, uh, when you search on um, chat GPT or whatever, Luffy stretching out his cheek, and then you get this. It's like, wow, it looks great. Oh, what the hell has happened to those hands? <laughs> I like the, that scream there. Because, like, you know, you guys know, like, the screams of goats? L like these guys. Yeah. That's exactly the scream I was looking for, actually. Like, this just, that, it, that's exactly what this, what is coming out of this goat's mouth. It's exactly what's coming out of Mary's mouth. Like, that almost sounds like that was done on purpose, does it not? <laughs> hey, guys, when I'm sitting on top of Mary's head, I should make a goat noise. A goat scream noise. Uh, I, I also want to come on this. This also looks pretty good. I enjoy it. That, that's, yep. That looks, that looks all right. This looks pretty good. A lot of the CG we're seeing from Luffy stretching looks pretty good. Bucky looked a little rough. Um, the crew walking up in here. Luffy looks, uh, not very intimidating, but I guess he doesn't normally do that. Uh, Zoro looks pretty fucking cool. Zoro looks cool as hell. Sanji kind like, like, look at him here. Does he not look like he's, like, in his 40s? I don't know why. Someone was commenting on his hair. Looks like it's like all dry and stuff, which makes him look older. I don't know how true that. I just think I do think he looks kind of old though. <laughs> Usopp, yeah, that's that's Usopp's pretty good. And Nami. Um, and I'm gonna be king of the pirates. Who's gonna be king of the pirates? Dude, seeing Foxy down here is pretty funny. I only see like half their face, and I would absolutely love to see what a live rendition of Foxy looks like, cause. Wow. <laughs> Colby looks pretty good. 
His glasses almost look CGI for some strange reason, even though I know there's no way they are. But I guess that's, I mean, big glasses do make you look a little weird, though, because, you know, your eyes get all, they either get zoomed in or zoomed out. So you do look a little silly with them. So now that this is, and the pink hair, yeah, that's pretty good. That looks really good, actually. Good, good, good job on the costuming and casting of Kobe. Okay. Bellamy. Yeah, that's a pretty damn good Bellamy. He reminds me of the thief from the first Spider-Man movie. Where's my face? Oh, Luffy. So there we go. That is... That is the, uh... The trailer of the live action. The full th two... Almost three minute trailer for One Piece. They did a long trailer. Trailers aren't normally that long. So, I mean, it is actually pretty damn good. They gave us so much. Now, of course, I was talking about how, um... Things have looked better and then came out way worse. So that's why, even though that looked like a pretty decent trailer, there's things wrong with it. I think it looks really good. I mean, we cannot forget the Cowboy Bebop. This trailer is so fucking cool. Like, look, look at this shit. Off bar ass fight, bam, whatever happens. Yeah. Look, look, this looks, looks pretty good. Like, that looks very well directed, you know? Like, look at that sick. Like, clever shit. Like, that's what I'm talking about when I say polish. Like, the fact that Mihawk has, like, plasticky sword and shit. Like, that kind of stuff isn't in this trailer. And then, you know, even they even did, like, the intro, which is really fucking cool. I'm definitely meaning that. That's definitely in copyright. Like, in the live action. I don't even know if this was used in the live action show or not. But, I like, that's pretty damn cool. I hope it's good. I really hope it's good. The CGI looks... All right, their characters, okay, the script's a little, feels a little <laughs> MCU banter jokey. Do I think this is going to be the first anime that's actually good with a live action? No, I think at best this is going to be okay. <laughs> uh, anime is a very hard thing to make live action for. It's pretty like crazy in concept. Um, but it's not possible. And I do think one day, one day, and maybe even with this anime, I'd love it if that happened with this anime. Someone is going to crack the code of making live anime one day, just as the MCU did with superhero movies. And sure, we had good superhero movies before the MCU. They really figured out how to do it, like, properly. And sure, we may look at MCU now and think, like, it's pretty fucking cringe and bad. Um, at least a lot of people do. The tides have definitely been changing on the MCU. Um... But, uh, I, I don't think anyone could deny the fact that they, they really figured out how to, like, bring a comic book alive in live action. And comic books have a lot of cringe shit in them, too. And manga is just a comic book, really, if you think about it. And manga is a comic as well, if you really think about it. So, if comics can be done that well, I don't see why anime can't eventually be done that well. It will happen one day. Will it happen with One Piece? Probably not, <laughs> but I would love to be proven wrong. And as I have said, I'm a long-term, long-time fan, and I would absolutely love um, to be proven wrong. And I'll be watching it with a very keen eye, uh, maybe looking at too many details as I have been. Um, but uh, yeah, that 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 is my thoughts on. Uh, the One Piece live action. Now, this is a 45 minute recording. Damn, I was aiming for like 20. Let me know what you think of the One Piece live action down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. I'll see you guys next time when I talk about Skibidi Toilet and how amazing it is. Goodbye!